and welcome back to our WF Python layout series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the static box sizer. So the static box sizer is a variant of the box sizer. And this should be kind of obvious because this sounds so similar. The box sizer and the static box sizer. And there's just one difference, okay? One difference that we'll take a look at. The thing is that the box sizer is a parent of the static box sizer. If you go look at the inheritance diagrams on the documentation, you'll notice that static box sizer inherits from box sizer. Now, this means that 90% of the functionality is the same, okay? The entire orientation, if you remember correctly from the last video, all the orientation, vertical, horizontal, the way they stack widgets inside of them, themselves, okay? All of that is the, the exact same, okay? So we won't be taking a look at that over here, okay? I mean, obviously, we will be adding in some widgets in that manner, but I won't really be explaining them in that depth, okay? So if you want to learn more about the box sizer and how it really works and the static box sizer, okay, uh, be sure to check out the last video, okay? Because you need to learn both of these videos, okay? Both of them are pretty important, okay? Now, the thing is that the static box sizer has one main difference, and that is with the creation of a static box. The static box sizer is basically a combination of a static box, you know, the static box widget, okay, and the box sizer. That's where it gets its name from, you know, the static box widget and the static box, sorry, the static box widget and the box sizer, okay? So it's a combination of these two things. Now, it's a bit hard to actually explain this, okay? It's basically a box sizer surrounded by a static box, okay? Now, if that didn't make sense, that's okay. Let's just go ahead make the thing and then we'll you'll automatically understand what's really going on here okay so i'll go ahead create the sizer wx dot static box sizer okay and what are the parameters well this is actually where the main difference lies okay if this was a regular box sizer what would you do you would just type in the uh, orientation like this right like wx dot vertical but over here we add in two parameters okay the first parameter is going to be a static box widget. Yes, that sounds a bit weird, but that's what you need to do. Okay, I'll create it, wx.staticbox, okay? The parent will be self.panel, okay? What's next? The label on the static box. I'll just call it button box, okay? Because I'll put in some buttons into the static box sizer, okay? And there we go. There's our static box created, okay? And I'm going to pass in, in the second parameter, the orientation, okay? Which, in this case, I want to be vertical, okay? So, yeah, that's it. This is how you create the static box sizer, okay? And at, after this point, everything is pretty much the exact same as the box sizer, okay? Now, let me just <clears throat> uh, add in a few widgets, okay? And then we'll, uh, you know, take a look at what it looks like, okay? So... Uh, let me add in a button, okay, wx.button, all right, self.panel as a parent, label can be something generic, button one, okay, and the parameters, are, again, these are the exact same as before, okay, we don't even need to add in any, any parameters, and it'll just go on its default values, okay, you know, which is, uh, the flag is zero, the, ex the border is zero, etc., okay, I don't want to add any extra parameters like that, so I'll just leave those for now. We discussed all these flags and extra parameters in the last video, so go and check that out if you want to, okay? So, yeah, I added three buttons in here. Now, what, what I'm going to do is go here, self.panel dot set sizer and put in the sizer over here, okay? Now, let's run this. And there. As you can see, it looks a bit weird right now. Okay, you can, you can clearly see the label up there that we usually see on a static box. Okay, but the border, it looks a bit weird. Okay, like if I look really closely, I don't think you guys will be able to see this, but over here, I can actually see the border down there. Okay, now this is a bit of an issue. Okay, and there's an easy way to fix this. Okay, watch. What we usually do, actually, in most, you know, sizers and most GUIs is that we create 
a box sizer around everything. Then we put all the sizers within that sizer, okay? We do this to basically uh, add in some padding, okay? So let me show you something right now. You see, I can see that there's the border to the sizer over here, down here. But there's no padding in between that border and the window, so we can't even see it. So let me show you how to get around this. I'll make something called wrapper, okay? It's actually just a box sizer. And I'll give it the orientation, WX vertical, okay? And I'll come down here and change this to wrapper, okay? And into the wrapper, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sizer, okay? Now watch. There you go. Looks a lot better now, right? We can clearly see the boundary around over here, okay? And guess what? The real reason why I've added this is because of this. Flag is equal to wx dot all. Border is equal to ten. Uh, let's go with something big, twenty. Okay, just watch there. You see that? That we can now add in padding. Okay, we can add in padding. This entire sizer, the static box sizer that we that we made, is just another sizer within the box sizer that we made. So we kind of gain some extra control over our GUI. Okay, so it's kind of a nice way of doing things. So yeah, but basically here's our static box sizer, okay, you can clearly see that we have a bunch of widgets, there's a static box uh, label over there, there's the border over there, so yeah, it looks kind of nice, honestly, it's kind of good for grouping widgets and stuff, I guess, so yeah, pretty good, otherwise, yeah, we're pretty much done here, so there's much more to discuss, okay, and stay tuned for the next video where we discuss the grid sizers and the other types of grid sizers, okay, because there are also variants of the grid sizers, Alright, so yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave some comments, okay, and hopefully I'll see you guys in one of my later videos.